Hi, I'm Brent Shelby, Exhibit Design Manager of the Oregon Zoo, and I'm here at the just-completed Red Ape Reserve, our new exhibit for orangutans and white-cheeked gibbons. Now, to give the animals some privacy as we introduce them to their new home, we've put up the screen that's behind me, and we've asked members of the community to come and put their handprints on the screen as a gesture of welcoming the animals to their new home. Big kids, too. And I'd like to give you a tour of this new habitat. The space here obviously is the biggest covered heated space. There are huge viewing windows so people will be able to be nose to nose. We've got the orangutan space elevated since they're much shorter than we are. So when they're sitting in that space, they'll be eye to eye with visitors. The new outdoor exhibit for the orangutans and the gibbons has lots of climbing features. It also has living grass and bamboo and other plants for them to encounter. They've got um, logs that they can crawl up and around. We have all sorts of ropes as vines for them to swing on that go throughout the exhibit. Another feature is this enrichment tree meant to enrich the lives of the animals. There are 10 holes in this tree set all around it that the keepers can put food in through a spiral staircase that's actually inside this concrete tree. And so the animals throughout the day can search for their food. The keepers can go in here and leave food. They can stick branches through it um, all around the tree throughout the day. So rather than just go in and leave food for the animals in the morning after they clean the exhibit and then let the animals in, Throughout the day, they can be leaving food for the animals, and so they can be going around and searching as they would in the wild for their food, and they can forage and try and find out where the keepers have left the food next throughout the day. We'll keep them active and moving around, so they're engaged mentally as well as physically with all these ropes and logs. We also have a trail of sway poles. These are big steel bamboo poles, but they're painted to look like bamboo, but the idea is the orangutans with their long arm reach will be able to grab from pole to pole and actually sway through the exhibit without ever having to touch the ground. So the whole intent is that these animals that live in the trees will be able to live in the trees when they're on exhibit and can go freely wherever they want in this space. So there's also a water feature in this exhibit so that we've got a large cascade going down to a small shallow pool. This water creates white noise to help sort of separate the exhibit from any of the noise of the traffic in the zoo. But it also gives the animals the first ever opportunity to play in the water, to experience uh, moving water. So we can put um, balls or things in here that they can play with, that they can fish out, but it also gives them an opportunity in the small section of the pool to go wading, to cool off, to splash one another. Um, it's just another one of the dynamic elements in the exhibit that will keep the animals engaged.